Hello everyone, Luke Taylor here for another album review and today's album is... I mean it's kind of obvious isn't it? I'm wearing my shirt. 2008 Trivium Shogun. So last year was the 10th anniversary of this epic masterpiece and as you can tell I'm a huge fan, huge fan of the band but I just want to let you know before you go any further in this video this is my favorite album of all time. So if you don't like this album I can't help you, but uh, I can try to tell you why I love it and uh, what it means to me. And um, I will say first off, if you think it's one of you, like your criticism, I heard criticism that says it's maybe too long or there's too much in it. Well, <laughs> I mean, it, it, that's like saying there's too much, you know, too much Metallica or too much Dream Theater or too much something. If you really like too much Tool, if you really love a band, and they make a massive, like, overwhelming album, it's perfect. Maybe sometimes the album is better if there's less on it, and that is not the case with this kind of project, I don't think. Now, I am a huge um, lover of Japanese culture, I should just say, um, Kuros Akira Kurosawa movies, and um, I have studied Japanese. I can't speak it fluently, but, you know, I, I, can, I can speak it uh, a little bit. Honto ni sukoshi dake desu. And the, the Japanese connection here is not only in the art or in the lyrics, it's also in the music, using like a Hirajoshi scales or that kind of thing. There's some really, really cool use of Japanese traditional music, but not in the way where there's like Koto and that kind of thing, but it's very much inspired by it. I will say there's a whole, um, if you know Bushido, Kota Bushido, or you know some of the samurai aesthetics or the whole you know, any of the Edo period, any of that kind of Japanese stuff, you know there's a certain attitude that comes with a samurai. And um, a shogun is, was basically like a feudal, a feudal warlord. So the shogun would be like the general in charge of, you know, it's almost like a, uh, the Middle Age equivalent, you know, like a lord or a baron, that kind of thing. But there's an attitude that comes with a samurai it is so metal. It's it's just so metal, and they really tapped into it. Now, one of the things is if you see like a picture of a samurai in his full armor, just totally you know looking badass and incredible, and they has a, a flag, like they have like flags on their back. That's kind of like the, their name. That's their their family, their house, everything. So if you're going into battle against another clan. And you see that guy, and you want to, you know, you want to get that guy. It's basically like saying, "I'm right here. Come get me." And I feel that's kind of there's a there's that's boiled into this album, that there's an incredible spirit of that uh, samurai warrior, that kind of warrior attitude that you can't really manufacture. You either have it or you don't. And there's this this ferocious attack that they have in the guitar playing and the drums and everything. It's just a an album of warfare and an album of you know, that samurai attitude. And uh, I, I just think that um, there might have been a little bit of a us against the world kind of flavor here and that, you know, let's go big or go home. And there's people clamoring on about how Ascendancy is the greatest record and they'll never get better than Ascendancy and all this and that. And um, coming off of Crusade, you know, I know that they left Florida and they went to Nashville to record this. And if you get the the, the bonus edition, you get the uh, well, special edition, has a DVD which has like a making of, which is very interesting because it gives you more dynamic too about um, the recording process and some of the struggles that they had with that. I just want to say too that the this era of Trivium is my favorite era and I'm not like locked into, you know, like this is the only Trivium that I listen to because obviously I have all their albums. But um, this is my favorite era because for some reason it's just like with Matt with the long hair and they're playing the Dean guitars that just sounds different it sounds so Shogun-y I don't know how else to say it um, from back to front from the album starting and ending the same way it's just to me it's one of those flawless masterpieces where it's just it's almost like an, an incredible Kurosawa film and um, it takes from Greek mythology from Japanese mythology from the Bible from all kinds of this epic epic sources and so I just feel like it's got it's already like reaching out into this huge space and saying yeah we're going for it 
and there's so many furious solos, so many incredible vocals, and uh, Matt Hafey's really nailed that James Hetfield style, you know, uh, anger, and um, the choruses are so memorable. So, yes, it's got a metalcore flavor with some of the choruses, but um, to me, this is really progressive thrash. Um, the thrash on here is just... But again, going back to um, Matt and Corey's guitar sound, I, I do miss that the Dean sound and that kind of what they had going with Dean and you know the the split headstocks and they just look like axes and weapons and they're you know Matt had the long hair and I just think that's great. This is this is the trivium that I that really helped me you know helped me dive into metal all that I wanted to and it helped um, give me a lot of answers inside and um, put me in the right direction as far as that goes and I don't know how many times I've listened to this I honestly don't um, there's just something so special about this to me and it's something that's so perfect for me so if it's not your favorite trivi trivium album there's a reason for that and it's my favorite and there's a reason for that um, I could just go track by track and it would just talk about how awesome they are how, how memorable they are I just think the way that they wrote it um, again being progressive uh, just the way the choruses hit you, the way that the, the riffs transition, some of the cool moments, there's some really bombastic moments that are so metal, and some that are just pure headbang, and you know, like um, Insurrection has this, I mean, if that's not just headbang thrash, I don't know what that is. Um, my favorite song on this album is, easily, is Shogun. I do really love Down From The Sky. I mean, who doesn't love Down From The Sky? That's just a perfect song. But my favorite song is Shogun. I love Shogun. I just feel I feel so much uh, of a very spiritual quality with this album and what they're touching here on these themes. Um, and Shogun really nails that. It's in, it's really really difficult as a songwriter and as a musician to basically say we're making a concept album. It's called Shogun. The last track is you know basically 12 minutes and whatever, and it's going to be epic. It's almost like you're set up to fail if it's not, but when it's done right, it's just like, and uh, they did it right. They did it right. I think what I love about this album is absolutely everything. I love the sound. I love Travis's drumming. Travis is just an incredible drummer. He's very artistic. You hear that in like the little flourishes he'll do. The way his kit was set up, I think is much different than their later drummers. It just fits this sound perfectly. I really love the sound of his drums on this album. It's my favorite uh, drumming of his, and uh, I just, I can't say enough about, like, and the, the way he recorded it, if you know the, the bonus uh, DVD, if you know, like, the making of feature, there was, a, there was an anger with his recording that, that really shows through. There was, like, a kind of a time crunch and kind of this urgency that's, he's just beating, the, beating those heads, man. He's just beating those cymbals. Paolo's got some really cool bass tones, some really chewy bass tones. There's a really great solo in Torn Between Scylla and Charybdis. If you know what I mean, you know what I'm talking about. Um, there's moments like that where it's just, they're cruising. They are so cruising. It's so technical. I think the big hits are really memorable from this one, but it's all the extra songs in between and all the, the deep cuts that really make this what it is. It's one of those classic albums where I just think every song is perfect in its place, perfect length, the way they sound, the way they're structured, because it's one of those stories that you want to start and you don't want to stop till it's over. And I love those kind of albums. Those are my favorite. They're the ones that bring me on a journey. I want an album to bring me on a journey. And I want an album like this that has such epic themes of like to hell and back, you know, and, and like um, fighting and surviving and overcoming and, and um, you know, almost epic like fantasy themes like the, you know, like the Iliad and the Odyssey or these, these big, incredible, timeless pieces. This one stacks up right in there along with them. And um, it did so much for me. I can't even begin to tell what it inspired me and what it did for me. It's a perfect mixing by Colin Richardson. Thank you very much, Colin, for uh, for doing this. Great job. Love the art. Um, it's it's really, in many ways, it, it can be very abstract if you look through the different pictures. The whole Japanese aesthetic, the whole thing, it's just flawless masterpiece. Um, I'm very happy to have uh, one of the limited edition, the red ones, here on the, of the 180 gram vinyl. Um, it's gold. It's completely gold. So, I love it. My favorite album of all time. I'll be listening to it always. And, uh, yeah. I just love it. So, do you love it? Do you love it like I do? So, what do you think of Shogun? What do you think of Trivium? What's your favorite album of theirs? 
Please comment below and let me know. Please share and subscribe to this video and check out all my other reviews. Have a wonderful day and I will see you later.